everybody. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Ryan Z and thank you for finding this video today. It's a special occasion guys. This is my one year anniversary on YouTube as Ryan Z ASMR and it has been amazing. I have had so much fun recording these videos, meeting all of you, so many friends, over 5,000 in one year. This is amazing. I don't even know how to express my gratitude, my thanks, the emotions that I feel. You know, something that I started on a whim just for something to do turned into a very entertaining hobby and now we're here. So for my one year anniversary video, I figured that I would do a commentary review of my first ASMR video, which to this day is still my most popular one. Everybody sit back and relax. I'm gonna play my original video while I'm down in the corner of your screen. We'll give some commentary, my thoughts on the video, things I could have did better, things I still haven't been able to recreate. Guys, thank you. One year down, many, many more to go. Let's get started. Welcome. Good morning. That beard. so many comments on these hand sounds in the beginning of this video. I know this video isn't as polished or as well produced as some ASMR videos, but I intend to improve. This is a big step for me. It was. I tend to close my eyes a lot out of nervousness, even though there's nobody else in the house. I think I've gotten a lot better with that, but I still do it sometimes. Um, as I was saying, I have not been able to reproduce these hand sounds. People still comment on the quality of these hand sounds, especially the finger flutters. I think it was just not having the noise suppression. There was a stomach noise right there. No noise suppression from the fuzziness. And just something with that room and the way the acoustics were that day were chef's kiss. Let's enjoy these a little bit. Some of you 
you guys. 
guys, I'm bringing these matches back soon. See? It's hard for me to get tingles from my own videos. It's happened one time. And uh, while I was editing, no, excuse me, it's happened twice. I've given myself tingles twice while editing. One time was one of my very first videos. It was a video game video, No Man's Sky. I think it's my fourth one that I ever posted. Um, it gave me tingles uh, while I was making these mouth sounds while running around. It um, just, it made me, like, all of a sudden tingle. I was like, whoa. I, I didn't think I could make myself tingle. And then it happened again. I think it was on a mic touching video. Um, one of the fast and aggressive ones where I was going crazy touching the microphone. I think it was the one where I was whispering the words fast and aggressive over and over and over again. There was a part of that video while I was editing. It took me, like, ten times as long to edit this one, like, section because I couldn't focus on the editing. I had to take my headphones out and do it with the phone audio and cover the mic, uh, cover the speakers on the ends of the phone to muffle it because I couldn't take it. Like, if I didn't have my hands there, just something about it was hitting my eardrums and hitting my brain, uh, just hitting me differently, like the upside-down microphone, which I have right now, by the way. It's just out of frame. I'm talking too much about nonsense. Um, well, it's not nonsense, it's a review. Now I'm just talking too much. Let's listen to this a little bit.
got you some friends. Thank you so much. I read every single comment and I try to reply to every single one. Well, everyone that's appropriate. I do end up deleting some comments of like trolls or bots or like these sexual website scam crap. I don't know how they are constantly boasting on my videos. So if you ever see one of those, don't click it. Give it a thumbs down if anything. Um, I usually delete them as soon as I can. on this tapping. I am focused. Look at that focus. Intense. Light camping. I don't rub that case enough. I might do that again soon. That's a pretty nice sort of soft gentle scratching sound. It's like I just remembered there's a camera on me. Uh, you know what, I, I would say this is a little cringy, but this is my most popular video and I'm very thankful that I made it that day. It just worked really well. I guess everybody's first video a little, uh, I don't know, they look pretty uncomfortable. Like I'm so stiff. I look stiff. using my television remote control to block the camera. Just a little tidbit. <laughs> oh, mic touching with mouth sounds, with visuals, whoa, trifecta, double inception. I 
grass grow without beard for like nine months. Yeah, that's a that's a long time. Nine months. It was. I started really growing it while we were doing some um, construction in our basement. We were having a full bathroom installed, and I did the demo of the walls and everything that was already there. And then you know the process of finding our contractor and doing all of that, I'm um, setting it up, and then them doing the work. The whole thing took like nine months, and I was determined not to shave until it was done, not to trim until it was done, and it was wrapped up shortly after recording this video, because I think the next one is the video where I uh, cut my beard off. Um, yeah, that was my, yeah, that was my second video. Um, it was another very bright background. I wasn't really skilled at it yet. Um, anyway, yeah, nine months of growing this beard. I had put some oil or at least brushed it a little bit better or something. I even had a, a beard straightener, a hair straightener that's really thin where I can straighten it out to get some of those craziness, um, handle some of the craziness where it branches out. sound. It's a good one. Somebody just slammed the door downstairs. Sorry about that. I wish I had used a wider brush. I think it would have been a more, like a more whole sound. jump edits. I've gotten a lot better at that. A lot better. I think I edit, edited this with iMovie, the Apple, pre-installed app on your phone, and it's sufficient, but there's not a lot of options. Like I said, it's not the prettiest thing.
It's easy enough as is. I miss those headphones I have on. They were really high quality, but the cord got a kink and one of them started cutting in and out. I think it started shortly after I recorded this. Um, I noticed that one of the ears started cutting out. It doesn't matter. They don't work in my new iPhone. That was awesome. Real quick to finish that thought, I record most of my videos barefoot. It gives me a firm surface where I can use all of my muscles to really get around the microphone and support myself. I don't know why, it just it feels more natural to me than when I wear shoes. Weird thing to say, fun little trivia fact. Anyway, that video is, like I said, still my channel's most popular video. It consistently gets 500 views a week. Um, or no, about 200 views a week. Uh, I love it. It's always going to be on my channel. Everybody, thank you so, so much for the support over this last year. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little unique, I know. We're going to keep going, man. We got to grow. I want to meet more friends of the channel. I, you know, all of my fans and friends of the channel who always comment in a weird way. I feel like I know you. Like, I have replied all your comments, and it's like we really are friends all over the world. Like, literally, a lot of countries on all sides of the world watch my channel. I'm so happy. Um, this has been a really fun ride this year, and I just, one final time in this video, thank you.